Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tabby. I am very much under the weather. I have been sick for like four times in the past like six months. I don't know what's going on, but <clears throat> I just traveled from Maui to Texas. Check out the vlog if you want to know why. And it was an overnight flight, um, several, several delays. So it took so, so long to get here and I've been sick, but I haven't unpacked. And so I came here because um, we are a vlogging channel here. I like fashion and lifestyle, but also you guys know I like luxury things sometimes. So I am here because I traveled from Maui to Texas, like I said earlier, and I have my travel travel bags right here. I have my LV Boss War backpack. And then I have my LV Bandelier 30, Speedy 30. And these are the two bags that I carried from Maui to Texas. Now this isn't a vacation. It is actually a six month trip. And so um, half of most of our stuff, pretty much everything is in storage. And we are here for six months for business. And we took our family here, our three kids. And each person had about like a big luggage. And then I had these two bags, but that's basically it. So a lot of my stuff in my bags and everything is in storage, but I did take all my jewelry and everything and I did take quite a few, I took a few bags, but really not that much because my mom has, my mom and I share bags all the time and actually half her collection is my bag. So maybe I'll get into what, I'll do another video on that. Anyways, um, I have done many, I've done a few what's in my bag travel bag edition videos and the oldest one was my LV Neverfull and then my Bosphor? No, it was my Montserrat PM and I told you what I thought of it as a travel bag, both of them as travel bags and then I did the keep all I believe once and I'll link everything down below. So I'm going to tell you guys what I think about these bags as travel bags. I did travel this past summer and I did use something which I'll talk about in a little bit as a travel bag. Hated it and a lot of people recommend it. I'll tell you why too. All right guys, so we're just gonna get into, oh, it looks so rough guys. Um, and I'm just trying to be cozy, not cute. So don't mind the hair and everything. I've been in bed and whatever. So um, yeah, we'll get into this one first because this actually is my, if you know me, this is my diehard like travel bag all the time. I've traveled with this bag like, I think I got it like 78 years ago. I don't really remember, but I have videos on it. And every single place that I travel or fly to, this is my bag. I pretty much consider it my like travel bag. I want it to be like going with me all over the world for years on years on end. And it finally is actually sh showing somewhere, but I'm not gonna get into like a review of this video of this bag, but uh, yeah. But it's finally showing a little bit of wear. So anyways, uh, yeah, so I really like this video, this bag a lot because it's super secure. I do wish it was a little bit bigger, but whatever. Okay, so we're just going to get right into it. And remember, this is not a little vacation. So there's a lot of stuff that's like, you're kind of like, why do you have that in there? And I'll explain why. Okay, so first I just have a water bottle, my Timmy water bottle, white one. I have some Asian snacks, <coughs> excuse me, some Asian snacks like peanuts and candy and stuff like that. And then I, oh, well this is good, I'm taking this out. I have, I was like trying to, you know, have a pair of clothes because we were actually, we we're supposed to get delayed because of weather. So I just have an extra pair of clothes if I, it's a, a sweater. It is a shirt dress. So if I needed to like, put something on extra if I got like um, dirty, like I was wearing all white. So I was like, if I got dirty, I could change. And then I have my picture camera. This is my Fuji X-T2, X-T2? Yeah, X-T2. And then I have a super old magazine that I keep wanting to read, but I just never had the time. And this is the Wellness, Los Angeles Times Wellness edition and then wow surprisingly I don't have very much in here and then um 
inside. The last thing I have in the big pocket is my, I have a whole video on this. This is my travel and also my like super secure, like if I need to grab it on a go, I put it in my uh, safety box. But this is um, all my super important vintage jewelry and some like extra jewelry. So I really like that a lot. I have my bracelets and necklaces and everything that's super important in here. And then what's cool about this bag is it has a little side pocket too. And with that, I have my LV pouch, mini pochette actually attached to the little um zipper right here so if someone tried taking it they couldn't take it because i have like a hundred dollars in there and i have some really not important stuff lotion i have um a thing that looks like lipstick but it's actually a charging like a little like charging uh battery pack and then i have some light like, cards in there yeah so I always like to travel with like cash because you just never know if like there's issues with your card and then there's two pockets left in the front I have oh, we'll go into this pocket and I have just like my earphones in here I'm just re reusing an Ana Luisa bag and some earplugs and then I have a pad just in case and then on this side, I like this because it has a lo another little pocket right here. And in that little pocket, it's kind of, I actually have some like small cash. So like $20, $10. Oh, okay. I have another $100 bill. I didn't realize I put that in there. So yeah, I have more cash in there. Like I said, I always like to travel with cash too. You just never know when you'll need it and then in this big pocket I have more pads because actually my daughter and I were supposed to get our period I actually got mine before and then she's yeah anyways so that is that with this that is pretty much what's in this whole bag love it now guys like I said it's pretty obvious that I do love this bag because I mean it's so secure there's so many pockets the only thing is I actually don't think that the Shoulder straps are actually really that comfortable, but we'll we'll do a review of this someday. But uh, yeah, so but I do really really do love it as a bag overall, um, as a travel bag. So yeah, then we're gonna go into the Speedy Thirty bandolier. Love it. I actually don't ever 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 wear this bag anymore, except for. Um, recently with traveling I actually like it so much that I was thinking this is a 30 I was thinking about I think there's a speedy 40 right or a speedy 35 yeah I think I want to get a speedy 40 bandolier did they have that anyways the biggest speedy but not quite the keep all because I had the keep all and it was too big I ended up selling it too heavy and I feel like this is small enough where it doesn't get too heavy and so if I got like a bigger size it would kind of look like a keep all and but still be a speedy I don't know it'd be fun so not anytime soon but I think that that would be really cool to travel with because I don't know like this is my very very first luxury bag well second kind of but this one counts as my first because I returned my Gucci um, Boston bag. But anyways, um, so I kind of don't want to beat this up so much. I don't want to beat it up so much, but if I do, I guess that's fine too. But yeah, so we're just gonna unzip it. I, so I have a lot in here because like I said, not vacation. I have another purse in here that I like wear way too much and I thrifted this bag. And honestly, there's just so much junk in there, like receipts. Um, I do have like my important cards and ID card in there, my clay with some keys, and then like chapstick and just basically what whatever you really carry in a purse, gum, lip gloss and stuff like that. Um, and then I have some like antibacterial hand wipes and then um, a bag. Just in case it pours or something, I like to sometimes put my bags in there if it pours. And then this is a 
a lightning to headphone jack. But again, like I said, I wanted some important things with me because I don't want to keep it on my like carry on. I don't want to put it on the check-in bags. So I have some like disc of like pictures of the kids when they were younger, like a lot of them. And mail will be left. Oh, American Airlines pretzels. Another charging port. Ah, tissue. Glad I'm cleaning this up now. Oh wow. A fork. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Another, um, whatever this is, guys. I, my mind is not clear. Okay, and then, um, inside, there is another bag. I know, like, Tiffany from LV Coffee Lover, like, jokes around about how I always have bags and bags. Well, I wanted to put this in here, and I'll show you what it is after I empty the rest of the bag out. And then, again, like, tickets, receipts. Oh, and then inside there, there's this little small pocket. I have my Chanel card holder, caviar, and, <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me, um, I brought more cash. I don't normally travel with this much cash, but I had it in the house and I didn't want to put it in storage. And so I just, brought it with me too. I like a little cash when I travel, but not a lot. And then I have a base holder and some more like receipts in there, but that's about it in there. But I did inside my Speedy have another bag and that would be, can you guess by the shape? It would be my LV bum bag in Emperor leather. What happened to the lighting, guys? Oh my gosh, it's okay. And yeah, it is in the New York. And I put it in there because, I, like I said, I didn't want to put it inside my. I also had a roll on bag with which um, I had my Shell GST in, and I was trying to put it in the airplane, but there was no room. They ended up checking it in, which I was like, eh. But um, so yeah, I did put this in my bag because I wanted to have it with me. And I wanted to touch about how I use this as a travel bag once. Like, a lot of people actually, like, recommend this bag as... Uh, sorry, I have it as the bum bag strap. A lot of people, like, recommend this bag as a, like, um, a good travel bag because you, like, put it in the front and it's secure and stuff like that. I do agree about that. However, <laughs> this bag is so small and the shape is so awkward that, like, honestly... You can't really fit much when you're traveling. I guess you could like put like your like what I would put in here in here. What I would put in here in here. <laughs> I guess I'm so disoriented. You could like it's small like for a per like it's just you just put your essentials. But like I said, I want something big like this when I travel, and then something big like this. So a personal item, and then this is like my um. The one that you can put underneath your seat but actually both of these fit underneath the seat if you guys are wondering both do fit underneath the, the seat perfectly which is why i like traveling with these two and then if i just have this one as a backpack and then this is my personal item this is too small for me so in general i got this one because of course i do like the leather however i'm not going to do a review on it but i thought the like monogram one was way too big but now I think this one's like way too small. So I wish they had like a medium size. I'll have to do a video on it. But I don't want to make this video too long. So yeah guys. I hope you enjoyed what's in my travel bags. It was all over the place. Forgive me. I am sick. But I really wanted to clean this all out. And show you guys what's in my travel bags. What my thoughts are. I really really recommend the Boss Bosphor backpack. And the LV... 30 maybe even bigger for a um for a travel bag but for me this is really really working really well i did sell my keep all because i said that it was so like obnoxiously like luxury and so big and like screams like <laughs> rob me i guess and this yes you could say the same thing i have an lv boss for 
I have the LV backpack with monogram all over. I have a Speedy with monogram over, all over it. However, in this case, I do this because I travel with my husband and I know I shouldn't be afraid, but, and I'm not, but I just don't like to be at like a Target, be like, oh yeah, LV, like luxury, everything. But when I travel with JTA, I don't really care. I feel fine. And the same thing with the keep all, but a lot of times in the past, I did travel with the keep all. Uh, with the kids on my own and I just felt like a target and also it's just like really big so it just feels like for me a little bit more um like hey rob me kind of or like you're going to international airport and who would you target probably the person with the LV like huge key ball you know um that's just me it's great like I said a lot of people mentioned it's great to like you know um travel with it like for day trips but yeah I don't know. I sold it. You can watch that video. It got a lot of views because and a lot of people disagreed. Some people agreed, but yeah. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Um, this is not the most flattering <laughs> angle, but I forgot to tell you guys that I also had my vlogging camera in my Speedy and then also my cell phone, which is my iPhone. But I'll, I'll show you guys what I um, quick mod shots on. Not the flat <coughs> best angle, but yeah. So <laughs> this is so bad. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm five two, um, one thirty five. I know. I think now. Yeah, I know, guys. I have to lose weight. Um. So yeah, just like this, and then backpack like that. And then, what else? I mostly carry the backpack on my back and then like sh strapped on the side like this. So, yeah, so basically like this and then I just walked around and then I have my backpack in the back. Ugh. Can you see? Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.